everybody, it's Sabrina. Let me scoot my chair. And today I am going, well, in my last video I told you I would make a necklace with this design. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And this is my design with the circle thing, and it's tied. So, yeah, I didn't copy. Okay, so the things I'll need are some beads, some string, and some scissors. And I, this is actually fishing rod, but it works, so, yeah. Okay, so you're going to need about, uh, let's see, a foot and a, like, a foot and five inches, maybe. Or maybe a little bit more, depending on how long you want it. So, my string is clear, so it's kind of going to be hard to see, but yes, I do have a string. It's not invisible. Okay, so, about that much, and you're going to, you're going to need extra for how long you want it down, and to tie it, and to do the circle thing. You're going to need a lot extra string than you think, so, yeah, so just... Yeah, okay, so what you're going to do is going to take your two ends and put them together on one hand, on two fingers, like that. And then you're going to pick your first bead, and let's see, what's mine going to be? This pink heart, and you're going to take, there's going to be a hole there, so there's going to be a hole there, you'll put string through the hole, grab that string, and push it down, like that. So you're going to do that with your next bead. See the hole? Grab your string, slide it down. Next bead. Oh, um, and if you saw my last video with the bracelets, well, it was kind of hard for you to see where the hole was um, because the holes were so small in the beads that I was putting in, so I'm sorry about that. Accidents always happen. And my dad is back there. If you're wondering. So, that's that. Next speed, put your string through the hole. And do this for about, uh, let's say, seven beads. Okay, make that about ten beads. Unless they're, unless they're big, stick to seven. Okay, so this is ten beads. And what you're going to do is just take your string and tie a knot. And go all the way down to here. So it makes like this hole. And whenever you make jewelry, you want to do three or more knots when you're tying it, or else the thing will eventually uh, just spread apart. See, look. You ready? Just spreads apart. So remember to do three or more knots. I'm going to do about five because I can go fast, so this is technically about, this is technically like skipping ahead. Okay, so that was five knots, and you should have this little circle thing right here. Alright, and now you're going to just put on more beads. And take it with two fingers, like that. should make this like a little water fountain shape or something. Um, so, I'm going to skip ahead until I'm finished. Okay, everybody, so this is my Valentine necklace. And um, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. Please like it and subscribe. I forgot to tie it. I'm so sorry. I told you that. Okay, so to tie it, what you're going to do is you're going to grab both the ends with your pointer finger, your middle finger, and your thumb. And you're gonna take it. And you're gonna wrap the other pieces around. Okay, if you don't know how to tie a knot, just ask your parents because I can't really, it's really hard to explain how to tie a knot, so sorry. So if you do know how to tie a knot, 
then just do it or ask your parents if you don't know. So remember I said to do at least three or more knots. Okay. So there is my necklace. And you can cut the excess ends off. And it doesn't really fit on me, but it can fit on somebody else, like one of my sisters. Too small. Okay. Yeah, now my hair is kind of weird. Okay, so please like, subscribe, and um, comment on what you want me to do next. So, bye.